Welcome to another Blitz day, another session of Blitz. So here we are, I've got five minute game. My opponent started with this little move E3. So I'm gonna try my favorite move here, H5. I love pushing my H pawn. And the idea, this was, was given a suggestion, well B3 is just asking for A5 when we're gonna come at him on the wings. So this is, this is a bit like um, people running down the sides of the board here trying to create some problems but okay maybe not the best of openings so let's see who are we playing car posh um from america no idea who car posh is but um seems like pretty probably a decent decent enough player so is my idea going to work this this double double sort of uh i don't know what you call this really what do you call this someone suggested i play this rubbish opening so we have to give it a go um well let's keep pushing if if in doubt just keep pushing keep pushing those pawns and now i've got to put my bishop somewhere so let's think best place to develop it looks like b7 to me so that is the sensible way for me to continue surely and i've always got this move a3 that my opponent might need to look out for but let's let's just get my bits out first my opponent playing a very very solid setup here i mean i could even go as far to say slightly boring setup but i wouldn't dare say that right okay well now it's time for is it a bit of time for a swinger let's get let's get that rook swinging over shall we let's see how that goes so okay so i want to i want to try to bring that rook around to the king side and start some kind of attack on the king side but that's easier said than done isn't it what, what, what am i doing with this rook anyone anyone tell me what i'm actually doing i don't know what i'm doing here um okay well let's do this i don't know why i'm opening the bishop up trying to bring my knight around i'm a bit hazy today I'm, I'm maybe not entirely with it today um but we'll keep going and it's nothing to do with bond cloud by the way before anyone suggests that thank you very much um now i just don't really know what i'm doing in this position it's just very strange i wanted to go queen a8 um can i do that then and try to take control of this e4 square again something like this maybe plonk a knight on e4 my opponent is fighting for control of that square as well, very, very sensibly, um, which is a good way to play. Now, I'm going to have to retreat yet again. My knight wasn't doing a very good job there. The idea, if my opponent goes e4, I've got the f4 square. Um, okay, well, let, let's let's try to get one of my knights to f4 at least. I mean, all my pieces look very cramped, though, don't they? They look very silly here. I mean, it looks like it kind of looks like a beginner's a beginner's game here. Beginner GM day it is today. Beginner, this is, could be the new show. Beginner GM with GM or pretend GM Simon Williams. Um, so let's keep going. I'm down on the clock as well. So what am I doing here? Well, I'm trying. I'm trying to do something on the king side. Maybe I've got d6, just an e5 ideas when my queen could come over. I'd love to get my queen to a more active square. My opponent's got a nice space advantage, but okay, well, can I offer him, can I offer him this pawn here? My bishop now here looks very stupid, doesn't it, on b7. He's, he's blocked that out nicely. Um, let's try to bring my queen around to a more active square then. So try to get it out to g5, something along those lines. Uh, makes a bit of sense uh okay he's really just trying to crush me here nasty man okay uh good yeah i mean again keep your suggestions openings coming in um i probably won't be doing videos shortly um i'm mean, trying to think as well in in a couple of days i'm going to stop for two weeks because i've got the british chess championships coming up when it's going to be extremely hard to film any videos but i'll get a couple in before then um i might try doing a reddit thread ask me anything on friday if you guys want to join me there on friday um i'll try to set that up so you can ask me anything again please like my videos and subscribe if you haven't done already that really helps helps me out and um obviously check out the website gingergm.com that's also be good to uh good for me so what am i doing i mean I, I i did this put my queen on b3 but i'm not sure why i put my queen on b3 look at this bishop on c8 this is a disgusting piece i mean this bishop on c8 is really just not doing anything at all 
And now the Queen's being exchanged. I'm not going to check mate him, am I? So, um, not looking good here. I need to get some get some ginger magic going here. How do I do anything? My pieces are horribly cramped. Now, well, I'm going to try to do here to force him to play b5 because then a3 is weak. Just desperately trying anything here. But now he can take and come into d7 even if he wants to that'd be a good idea the only the only good thing about my position is my knight on f4 so there's not there's not much rosy going on here and um, my play, opponent playing a nice game against this rather silly opening that i played not really doing much was i with this opening going backwards and forwards um okay well i expected him to do that just to keep my bishop on c8 it's an awful piece and now if I take here, well, then he goes rook here, winning some material. Uh, it's, it's desperate. I've got to try to go in f5 and just trying to create some space for my pieces. What else can I do here? Well, he's taking, and I am a little bit worried now. I've got a lot of weaknesses like e6, but at least my bishop has some chance to get out. I mean, I can try king f7, rook g8, when, like I said before, the only good thing about my position is my knight on f4 um so that pawn is defended at the moment um i just wonder if i can move my king and actually go e5 maybe that's a better way to play i wanted to get out of the pin okay i've got a little time advantage as well for a, for a nice change that, that is quite pleasant and certainly i mean it, it seems to be i'm playing a lot of openings uh incredibly dubious at the moment i think i'm gonna have to stop this crazy opening um rubbish that i'm trying i'm going to play proper openings next game king's indian defense king's indian attack proper opening none of this none of this stuff i mean this is just rubbish okay what's he done i'm not even okay he's gone there so um it's time to start pushing these pieces back so let's go e5 first my position seems to be getting a little bit better here i seem to have been able to create some play and my bishop can now even enter the game um i'm gonna play that move as well to block his bishop's diagonal now my next idea is just to take on e2 maybe i should have done that last move but take on e2 and go knight to f4 and they're coming to life this kind of position where your pieces can just uh jump to life um i think he goes knight c3 here though that's 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 the thing if i take on e2 he takes with his knight this must be his best plan here something along those lines and then things are not so bad it's very surprised he's gone there because now can't i take i oh, takes on oh, his point the point is he takes here well i don't think i need to rush let's put the bishop there first and again my whole plan is to go for you know this g2 pawn so knight to f4 is my main threat at least now as well my bishop my light square bishop can come into e6 and i can uh, develop it like that that was an awful piece before um really not not a happy happy bishop that one uh okay so that's it all right well let's go in T time to move the knight in now and start an attack well he's given up some material um okay he's taken with the knight right uh i don't even need to rush taking this pawn i, I want to i want to get my other rook my rook on a7 into the game somehow if i go rook a8 so then go rook takes g2 this rook can join in so I don't need to rush, maybe, maybe now I should take it because he was threatening to take on h4 there. And this bishop's actually been a very good defender of uh, the d7 square. Um, okay, that's a good move. Here it comes. The bishop just comes back again. Um, okay, well, maybe not the best idea. Okay, well, it's going to be a bit of a, a rapid end here. His bishop's looking very dangerous in hindsight. And also bishop here right okay well i'm gonna have to run with the king um right we're just trying to get a draw that's not very nice of him is it okay well we, we've got to have, oh i don't know that looks so risky if i go here he goes here I, I can't i can't take a draw that's just not on okay i'll play for a win even if it's okay not the right i well actually i'm just losing a piece here aren't i okay well i'm playing for a win on time should i say uh again dirty way to play oh hello Hello, dirty, dirty. Sometimes you've got to be dirty though in chess, in blitz chess. It is blitz chess after all. So these things, uh, 
these things occur. Yeah, that was quite dirty though, wasn't it? It's happened to me though. It's happened to me as well. So I'm not sure if there's too much uh, point analysing that one too much. Again, these stupid openings um, are not giving me the best games for uh, for for uh, entertainment, are they? So um, my opponent, I think a lot of people are saying good game. Yeah, good game, good game. Yeah, no, it was an awful game. It's an absolute rubbish game. And I think I'm just waiting for my opponent to insult me now. Have you guys had any stories when your opponent starts insulting you after a game? There must be. I've had loads. I've had loads of stories where my opponent has um, basically just, you know, I've won the game and he started to say, you're not a GM, you're some idiot. Who are you? You shouldn't be playing chess. All this kind of rubbish. Um, I've had loads. I normally just ignore them unless I'm in a really bad mood and then I, I try to give them some back. But... I've had uh, I've had plenty of abuse over the years. You get kind of get used to it after a while. You can be quite fun actually getting abuse. So try try your worst if you want to. So what is this opening? Well, someone said try try this beginners kind of thing. And you know, I mean, I'm not really going to spend too long on this game looking at it because I don't think it had so many interesting moments. I mean, later on it got all a bit chaotic. Not really worth putting on the computer to analyze. That's for sure. Maybe around here. I should have just somehow gone for a crazy idea. Well, I think probably d6 here makes a lot of sense. Let's play this first, because then if my opponent ever plays d5, like he did in the game, I can always play e5 then. That's a bit more strategically sound when my bishop has this diagonal. And I put a blocker in the centre of the board, because the way it was played, I mean, this knight just got kicked back. And, I mean... Even instead of knight to f5, I could go queen to a8 immediately and try to put a knight to e4. That would have made a lot more sense as well. The way I played it, I mean, it was just pretty appalling. I'm just moving my pieces backwards and forwards. And my opponent is just like charging at me with his pawns there. They're just coming at me. My only, only positive thing is this f4 square. And okay, we'll leave it. It's not that. I feel a bit sorry for my opponent. They're not, not really worth looking at much more. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it a day with this video and I'll, I'll give my opponent a rematch if I can if I can catch him because I think he deserves one after that okay um again thanks for viewing the video and uh give me some suggestions what else you'd like me to play I'll go back to playing some sensible openings I think now I've had enough had enough crazy craziness now oh, too much craziness that's the chess life for you